Oh, it's a network. It's a network. Oh, network. Oh, of course. Hey, Dimbaza. Yeah. This the Dimbaza. The same problems all the time, man. Gee. So look, man. I'm just checking in on you. Uh, I was talking to I was talking to Entrebelli yeah. Duna from uh, from Cape Town the other day, and uh, you know, but, but what's happening with you guys? Yeah. Because you know, I'm I'm thinking, you know, man. Just when I think things are, uh, this thing is not going away, and the problem is, I don't even know when I'm going to get back to to Cape Town, rather Cape Town, to Dimbaza, you know, to South Africa at all, because y'all are going up. What's happening with you guys? What's happening out there? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Here in Dimbaza, it's normal. It's normal because you see, now they were putting people were putting masks left, right, and center because of the panic. Because you know, the government is has been. Alerting people on TV, on radio, on on public. So people they were in panic, putting masks. Now people like that thing of putting mask on. It's is going down because most of the people are dying because they are suffocating because all of the time, all of the the whole day, you are covering your mouth, you are covering your your nose. So people are getting sick because they are breathing the same air. Um, the carbon dioxide you see if you are breathing the air that you are you are you are taking out it's a danger to your body so most of the people there were heavy they were encountering problems of the lungs so they end up like taking away the mask some they are putting mask on top of the on under the nose so that they can breathe out you see mm -hmm. so now like the, 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 the people are becoming normal now but most of the people are taking away the masks but they are staying safe well, there's the distance. They are keeping the distance. Yeah, but there's 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 been reports uh, uh, that uh, basically, if you're in a house, you know what I mean, and that's worse than yeah. than if you're outside. You see, that's one yeah. thing they said, and the other thing is that you know you, you keep so you you can do the you can do without the mask for periods of time. I don't really get into that because if that information is coming from politicians and what I call administrating administrating doctors. They're not they're not research doctors. You guys you understand? Yeah. And so this is the okay. problem. I, yeah. I, I told somebody else this day, I, I told uh, uh, this guy I talked to uh, uh, all the other day. Man, what frustrates me is that you have five you have five months of they tell you to do the same thing. They're not giving you any other solutions. It's a problem. Okay. Yeah. Oh. So, but yeah, these are the doctors are they ain't giving any help. They are making things worse. You know, instead of decreasing the problem, they are making more problems. There are no solutions. Okay. Now, here's my question. So, what what's happened? And now, because Dimbaz is not a big city, you know, it was you know. Well, let me put this: in. What's happening in King, or what's happening in you know King Williamstown? What's happening in East London? Those are your bigger cities. You know, you know, your bigger areas. Like, well, yeah, in this land, people are still putting on masks and the, the places are still flocking with people. I'm going to send you pictures. I think I'm going to go to King tomorrow and then I'm going to take some pictures because people are still, you know, how is King? King is still the same. Crowded. They are so crowded and long queues. King is still the same. Mm. East London is still the same. You see, they don't control, they don't do any control in towns now, in, in big locations there. Because it's, it's like, yo, it's so much traffic. People are still doing the same thing. They are going to King. The, look, and especially now, it's going to be month and it's going to be full, just like any other days. No, Mr. Foley, Mr. Foley, hold, hold, hold on. Mr. Foley, listen, listen. I don't need you to yeah. go down to King to take no pictures for me, okay? You stay in Tabatha, form the land because these people are going to need real food and all the rest of that stuff. I call this a, what's called a culling of the herd. <sighs> I lost him. Okay, well, anyway, let me just try to call. Let's try to call. I know it's the, it's the network. So let's see what I can do here. See, I call back. See what's going on. Uh, uh. Okay, Miss hey, you're yeah, back. So yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm back. Yeah, but listen, man. Yeah. Like I said, I don't need you. I don't need you going to 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 to, to King. Oh, it's, especially now we're going to get to the end of the month. You know, people are going to be really be crowding. If you know, when when the when the grants it's come crowded. in. Yeah. 
it's crowded like yo and then even, even in Timbaza now it's crowded because you, you know what's going on now what's that what's that you, you see government gave young people, government subsidized young people with 350 all unemployed people 350 so now people are, are congested on the post office every day there is no it's monday tuesday wednesday till every day until friday because most of the demands are young people are unemployed and other old people all the unemployed people are getting that grant there so now they are queuing every day is congested the post office is getting congested and the, the municipality is getting congested every day and the banks in king because people are going to king to get money from from the bank some they are getting money from the post office and some like yo it's too much because i think government was going to do something like a voucher mm. but they didn't do that wow so they send their their their, their money through post office and banks mm. so now every place is congested every day you see from first till the, the month end oh man and then it's going to start all over again because next week is the beginning of the month. Yeah, from the beginning of the month until the end of the month, there's no there's, there's no difference between the month and now and the uh, and during the month because people are, are going on shoes every day. Wow. Well, what, what? How about the transportation? And, and what is worse now? What is worse? They're sleeping in King. What is worse? People are sleeping in there. Sleeping. What do you, what do you mean? Because you see, they are taking the number. They are taking the number. If they are taking fifty, and when the the cash is done, they will wait until the next day until they they, they are in, inside the number. If they, they are taking fifty or hundred, they will wait. They can stay for two days in King. Some they are staying in post office by three o'clock. People they are starting to queue. Three o'clock in the morning. So, so they're sleeping outside. You're saying they're sleeping outside. Yeah, they're sleeping outside. Outside, even on it is not only the, the the banks, even home affairs because home affairs people are doing e e death certificates, and then some most of the people they don't have IDs. Most of those who apply for for grants, so they are chewing there also. Oh, they are doing new birth certificate, new IDs, and then the, the that thing when you don't have an ID, the temporary ID. They are doing that stuff every day now. It's not like the end of the month every day because people they need to go and pick up their cash. If they don't have an ID, they they are forced to go and, and do the new ID. And then in, in inside these departments are taking numbers if they're taking 100 you will wait until the next day or you, you must sleep in king or wait until the next day it's too much it's too much it's what? this this epidemic is giving like the, the, the employee is hard time well yeah of course but what, what, what but it's winter time there in south africa i mean is it raining what's happening how what's the temperature oh the temperature now it's good because it's not it's not that bad because okay. you see even now it's cool i'm wearing t-shirt i'm wearing a t-shirt since morning till now and then i think it is fading is phasing out the winter season is fading out okay okay yeah, the winter season is fading out now yeah okay well look man I, I don't know what to say man i don't know i you know what can i say because remember when i was with you what i tell everybody to do i said everybody needs to get their ids everybody need to get passports there's the first thing I would tell yeah. people, you know? Uh. I remember. Okay, well, it does, it, it's yeah, not going to matter. Just, it's not going to matter. Deal. See, the problem is that, that uh, man, nobody's thinking. Because even with that thing, what they could, well, that wouldn't help either. I'm thinking you have if you have rolling buses or vans, you know, with, with, uh, with you know, that, that, that would distribute stuff. I don't know, man. I have, there's other things that can be done. They're trying to do the regular thing in an irregular situation. This is not a regular situation. So you can't do the regular thing. And nobody's thinking. And the stuff, you see, you see, they don't understand what is going on by then. Because you know what's going on now. Nah? We are, we, we reached the, the, the era of the 40 industrial. So now, they're trying to, to familiarize people with technology. Nah? So now, our government is supposed to, to, to improve their system. 
so that it can suit this 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 situation that we are all in. But our government is still doing the manual stuff, the old stuff. They don't want to change because they are talking about the industrial revolution and then the technology. But they, there's nothing that is changing. And then our people also. You see, you remember last time I think we were on the other meeting and with social development. Mm. We, I did say like we must have. We must be prepared for this fourth industrial revolution so that we must not get affected. We as the downtrodden, we must have gardens, we must have stuff that we can own. Because if we we don't own anything in this fourth industrial revolution, we're going to suffer because the, 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 the system is going to control us over. Whatever the system does, we must follow it because we don't have something else that we are doing aside. What? Here's my other concern. I mean, aside from people's health as far as diabetes and stuff like that, because they're, 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 it's, it's what they call comorbidity. In other words, you have other you have other problems aside from just the flu. Yeah. But remember, remember what you were telling me about. Explain the whole thing about about the um, uh, about the uh, the dialysis. What's happening with the OPT yeah. and dialysis? What's going on with? Because those units are always filled. Those. Uh, ex explain the dialysis. Sure, sure. You see, the dialysis, you see, this that thing of dialysis is like, it's just a, the program that was done by those people who did it. Ne? But now, you know what's happening? My aunt, last time he go to dialyze, they said, like, 15 of their people were affected with this, with the COVID-19. So, the staff go home. Do the dialysis at home. Oh, okay. So, so in, in other words, the dialysis. Yeah. The, hold on, hold on. The dialysis centers can't yeah. can't do anything because the person the, the personnel is not there. No, the personnel are there. The personnel are there, but more the, the, the fifteen people were, were were taken home, and then the service was rendered in, in their houses because they are in danger. Because a day they are taking like this much number, but now. Because of the, oh, they don't want the place to be congested. They take the other people and then do the service in their houses. Oh, they're visiting the house. Oh, that's better, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The service at home. Okay, so, so they're poor. Okay, okay. Well, I, I was, the yeah. first thing I was thinking about all that, the, the nightmare of that. But then you have just unhealthy people, you know, because people still have the same diets and you have no supplements. You have no, people are not getting other kinds of supplements. You, you know, like vitamin C or even, you know, just just regular stuff. Yeah, people are still eating the regular stuff. No vitamins. And because it's better now, it's safe. Because it's better, it's a, it's a winter season. And then it's a orange season. People there can get the vitamin C from the oranges because it's a season. It's mm -hmm. a season for the orange. So we are eating oranges, getting sun. Okay, good. And... You see, there are others who are using e spinach greens. Okay. Greens, greens are everywhere here. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. But you see, the others they like junk. Junk is junk. They like junk. Are, South you, Africa here. Are you? Are you? In the location. Are you telling me that 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 hungry lion and and and, and the rest of them are a are, are pack or are full? Who me? No, you, you cannot see me there. You cannot see me there. <laughs> no, no, not you. I'm just I'm, <laughs> not you. I'm, I'm asking. Oh, I'm asking. What's happening with Hungry Lion and KFC and all the rest of them people, the McDonald's and all that people? KFC is closed, and uh, I don't know which. But Nando's, I think, is still open. But KFC and uh, Hungry Lions were closed. Really? Oh, that's good. Yeah, closed. KFC and Hungry Lions were closed. All right. All and then right. I don't know what happened to to Hungry to to Nando's. Because Nando's are also closed, but I don't know whether they are doing the deliveries or what. Ah, okay. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Oh man. See now, I was telling. Remember, I told you, I said that people are going to have to come back from these big cities, and they're going to have to hit the yeah. route. They're going to have to come back to Dumbaza and village areas. You know, there's no way around this. <laughs> I don't, you know. Oh, <laughs> people are back. People are back because you see, most of the people they take the the holidays and then they come back home because some they were retrenched, some they were, they were their contracts are ending. I'm like most of the people that I know, their contracts are ending. 
some the contract has been ended some their contract has but most of the people are back so okay. much people that are back okay so so basically if they don't get this government grant if they don't get this whatever little bit of money and a crowd to get this little bit of money then they won't be able to live unless you grow enough food for them oh you see that that's my strategy because i'm talking with other guys today I'm saying, guys look this thing see this after two years because this after two years you will you will realize that i was not stupid the time i said start this because after two years from now oh <laughs> things are gonna get hectic because people are going to suffer people they will live without food because the most important thing is food every day because people are working for food you cannot just go to work if you didn't need food but if you need food you must go in being somebody's else slave because you're gonna be somebody else slave to get food and something else but if you have food in your in your in your yard you won't mind because you know you have abc you will just buy that and that now what, what what's what's, ha what's happening with the with the animals because if the animals can get the virus then we have a problem you understand the animals i'm like i think animals are safe i think they are safe because animals are eating healthy stuff they're eating food they're eating food they're eating grass they're eating at least they are safe they are safe because as long as they are getting greens they are safe their immune is stronger than human immune Okay, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm thinking they, about that. I'm worried about that because a lot of this stuff has to remember, if it goes through the body, that's fecal matter. You know what I mean? So if, if people are pooping yeah. places and, you know, you, you know, you know I'm, I don't know. I just, I, you know, I got to do more research. Because the, the stuff that has been used by animals are mostly not touched by humans. Okay. Most of the stuff that are eating grass, they are eating greens, and the other thing, most of the animals that we eat, they are getting injected, you know, almost. Okay. All right, look. Yeah. Look, well, listen, man, let me let you go. Oh, I'll have to, I, I'll, I, you know, I maybe have to check in with you every every week, maybe. I don't know what's going on, man. I, I, I'm, I'm really concerned. You know, I'm very, I'm very concerned. You know, I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean Ger Gertrude's safe. Because you you know how Limbete is, but um, I'm really concerned, you know. Okay, I'm man. On yeah. Okay, okay but don't they no, man? Do not go to do do not go to King for no reason. I don't care because you got to get in a taxi. <laughs> blah blah. Uh, no, no. I, I think I was going boat there tomorrow. For what? Yeah. For what? <laughs> for 